What's up, everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today. This time, we've got a gameplay video on our little mini fire bat PC here. And today, the game is Shin Megami Tensei Vengeance. Now, a lot of people have been asking for screen recorded gameplay on this, the guy. And I figured I'll oblige, but with caution. On this system, they don't give you relive, and the Windows thing kills FPS even more than OBS does at this point. So, I download OBS, and we will be getting some screen recorded gameplay. However, it will probably, well, not probably, it will kill the FPS. I don't know how much, but it will definitely affect the FPS. So make sure you watch the camera recorded portion if you want to see the absolute true FPS, you know, without it messing, getting messed up by recording or any of that stuff. So with that out of the way, why don't we go hop into the game? We'll go get the settings and all that stuff. And all that will be screen recorded just like I do on the rest of my computers. Well, besides the laptop. So I'm going to start doing screen recorded on them too, just so kind of make, just to appease people that are asking for it. I'll just have to constantly give that warning out so people will know. Anyway, enough blabbing. Let's get into the game and see how this guy runs on this little mini PC. All right, I figured we'd see how, how this thing would run at all these different resolutions like I do on the ASUS. So let's try 1080p first and we'll go from there. Now keep in mind I'm screen recording with OBS now so that is gonna take up a little FPS. I don't know how much on this thing but I guess we'll find out once we get in there, won't we? So. Let's hop into the game now. Well, all right, here we are in the game, 1080p. We're just barely hanging on to 60 FPS at times. And this is, seems to be a pretty easy run area. And it does stutter going between areas, I've noticed. So now that way. Oh, I'm supposed to go to that Tanakawa tunnel, I guess. Oh, what is this guy doing? See, does drop under 60 a little bit in this place anyway. Oh, oh yeah, no, that is the one I was talking about. Yeah, you know, you can play it in these settings, no problem. Heck, it might even smooth out the frame times a little bit. Yeah, that looks like a terrible place to go. いよいよ奥までがっつり攻略しますね。これはなんかいそうな雰囲気が。Uh oh. This certainly doesn't look good. Anyway, though, what a time to move on. All right, so now we'll try 900p and see how that does. Though if I remember correctly, there's times where even that drops under 60 here and there. So I think if you want to have 60 all the time, you're going to have to deal with 720p. Anyway, though, let's see how 900p does, though. All right, well, here's 900p. At least out here we're getting lots of FPS, but this is a big wide open desert with like almost nothing going on, so I'm not going to get too excited yet. I'm also curious, are the frame times gonna, still going to have giant skips? A lot of times this, this thing just seems to do that with anything other than like indie games that are like 8-bit. Alright, oh, but still has stutters. We dropped down to 50 FPS here. Oh, 
目標を確認Well, let's take his hand, because I feel like if I don't take his hand, I'm probably going to die. Because how else am I supposed to fight anything off in this area? And who knows, if I didn't, it might do that stuff where it's like, oh, well, the game's just over, you lose. <laughs> you know? I've had games do that to me. It's like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. That sounds like an absolutely stupid idea. And then you don't do that stupid idea. It's like, oh, well, then you lose. I'm like, well, what the hell? Don't give me that option, then. An achievement. All right. So here's seven twenty P settings now. Which again, all we really did was change the resolution, but. Just want to show them anyway. It's something to click on on the uh, chapters on YouTube. And in any case, now that we've gotten to the bottom, let's get into the game. Well, now here we go. 720p. We still get big stutters, but at least we got lots of FPS, which, in my opinion, who cares if we have big stutters like that? But still, just wanted to see what kind of FPS it would get, so that's what we'll do. And who knows, maybe those stutters will even out. I guess I shouldn't hold my breath. Ah, uh, I need to gather some what is that now? Oh, so it's like the Magatsuki Magatsuki. We missed focus. Mietaka. So, Sorega Mangatsuhi no Keshoda. Mangatsuhiwa, Warera ni tot the Mochikara to Nai. Mikaketara Chikazuki, Energy to Surutoi. Basically, always collect funky looking orbs. That's good to know. Otherwise, I'd go, What the hell is that? Though, knowing me, I'd still just jump into them and see what they do. A lot of times that gets me killed, but hey, it is just a video game. Obviously, I would never do that kind of shit in real life. Oh, you can even hit RB to auto heal. I didn't even notice that until I started doing the recordings. And a lot of the times that uses stuff that I don't want to be used in games. Like, it'll be like, all right, I could, I've got like 100 potions and like one elixir. It'll be like, all right, I use the elixir, even though you only needed like 20 health. Like, you, you bastard. Anyway, though. This seems like a pretty good spot to stop and move on. All right, so now let's get a little more camera or a little gamma gameplay now. And I tried 1080p and 720p even out here in this desert area. Neither one can hit a constant 60. So 720p it is, and I don't even know if that will do it. Do that real quick. Why not? Still has its stutters, though. 
Fuck is that a battle? Apparently, I got glory. Told us we should go back and see this guy again for some reason. I doubt we'll be able to do anything with just that, but... Have to do what it says. Uh oh. Okay. All right, well, I guess that's beyond our way. We can persuade them. So this seems very similar to uh, Persona. I think they're made by the same people, so that's not surprising. Heck, the worlds might even be connected in some way. So we got a pixie. So hit X to attack them. Hoping he'll turn his back or something. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Alright, 
Are you weak against the lightning? Let's find out. Yeah. Luckily, I have a pretty decent amount of mana. What else do you do? That's, yeah, she's mostly for healing, but that's still nice. If I don't need to heal, I can still attack, you know? Yeah, game doesn't seem to run that bad at 720p. It might not look great. Well, that's the only way you're staying at over 60 on this kind of machine, I think. But, in any case, this seems like a great spot to stop. So why don't we go ahead and go wrap this video on up? Well, alright guys, that's a wrap for Shin Megami Tensei. Vengeance? It's almost like it's five, but they just made five and vengeance all one word. But, anyway... It seemed to do pretty decent at 720p, but it couldn't stay above 60 all the time at 1080p or 900p, screen recording or not. Screen recording seems to take up anywhere from 5 to 10 FPS, depending on what's going on. And I'm sure it'll, dep it'll depend on what kind of game you're playing, because I think this uses the GPU more than the CPU. So, if it's a way more GPU-oriented game, I might lose even more FPS. Like, who knows, I could lose up to 15 FPS. Just throwing it out there. I don't know for sure. We'll see the more, uh, more I do this, how much it affects. But always make sure you guys watch the camera recorded portion for the true unadulterated FPS. So that is all I got for you guys for this particular video, though. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.